indeterminate form yes my dear students today we are going to study about indeterminate very good morning so i think you all are well versed with the previous chapter that is differentiation and now we are going to head to the next new topic that is indeterminate form okay so from the name you can understand that indeterminate you know the meaning of determinate that is determined that is already known to us and indeterminate that means there is some certain forms that means if we talk about particularly what we are going to see in this chapter that means we are going to see some of the forms which are like uh, we could not think of like have you ever seen zero upon zero form in mathematics have you ever seen infinite upon infinite form or uh, or etc that means kind of form which is indeterminate which we cannot determine so we are going to see those questions or we are going to see we are going to just deal with those forms in our uh, in this chapter okay let me explain you uh, briefly about what how the indeterminate form comes let me take one example limit x tends to 0 x minus sin x upon x square now if i ask you this question you will tell uh, you will tell that sir this question can be solved in such a way that we can put x the value of x in the limit and we can get the answer okay if you if you put the limit over here so 0 minus 0 upon 0 you got 0 upon 0 form okay so this is the indeterminate form and this is only we are going to deal in the chapter okay now you understood what is the meaning of indeterminate form now which rule we are going to use that is one mathematician l hospital that has given one rule that is called l actually this is in phonetics uh, this is uh, this is uh, the o and on that means on the head of o two dots are here this is kind of phonetics and in the book it is written like this and we read it as l hospital rule okay so what is this l hospital rule and how to use this rule in the question let us take the direct question from here okay okay let us consider this question where it says limit x tends to 3 x to the power 4 minus 84 upon x minus 3 all right now let me explain you what is the algorithm of solving such questions what should be your first mindset and how you have to solve it listen to me very carefully what is your first uh, that means step of the solution always what you do you put x is equal to 3 in this limit and just see that whether are you getting 0 by 0 form or not that means what is our first criteria our first criteria is to check whether it is a indeterminate form or indeterminate form uh, whether it is indeterminate form or not then only we will apply l hospital rule in it okay so as we put x equal to 3 3 to the power uh, 4 is 81 81 minus 81 0 upon 3 minus 3 is 0 Yes, this is an indeterminate form. So you can write as this is zero by zero form using L hospital rule. This you have to write. Now, what is the L hospital rule? It only says that you uh, differentiate the numerator and separately you differentiate the denominator and just check. Okay, what is the differentiation of x to the power four? Four x cube minus. What will be the differentiation of eighty one zero? And here also differentiation of x is one minus zero. Okay, listen to me. You can have one doubt that sir, we can use division rule here if we want to differentiate it. No, L hospital rule says you separately uh, differentiate the numer numerator and separately you differentiate the denominator. This is only the L hospital rule. You need to differentiate uh, numerator and denominator. Okay, uh, and okay. we got this as a answer so what is your you are left with 4x cube now just put x tends to 3 in it are you getting 0 by 0 form if yes then you again use l hospital rule if no then you put the value and get the answer okay are you getting the algorithm okay that is first checking the limit 
that if it is 0 by 0 if it is 0 by 0 then differentiate numerator and denominator separately then put limits now you have two options if again you got 0 by 0 use L hospital if you are not getting 0 by 0 that is your final answer now after this step again you have to put the limits if you again got 0 by 0 then you again use so you need to use the L hospital rule okay till you don't have 0 by 0 form in your answer okay okay let us come to this question uh, again here what we have to do uh, this is uh, sorry this is 2 limit x tends to 0 ha. so again in this question if you put x tends to 0 in the limit e to the power 0 is 1 1 minus 1 0 10 0 is what 0 this is 0 upon 0 form so hence we have to use L hospital rule here so L hospital rule you applying using L hospital rule e to the power x is e to the power x minus 1 that is 0 that means differentiation of 1 0 10 to x is sec square 2x into 2 okay now limit x tends to 0 e to the power x upon 2 uh, 10 to x will be what sec square 2x and 2x will be what 2 so 2 sec square 2x now put x tends to 0 e to the power uh, 0 will be 1 upon 2 into this is what sec square 2x or sec square 0 uh, s cos 0 is 1 so sec 0 is also 1 so 1 square is what 1 that is uh, 1 upon 2 is the final answer like this you have to solve this exercise you know okay okay let us come to this question limit x tends to 0 a to the power x minus 2 to the power x upon 4x put x equal to 0 so 0 minus 0 upon 0 0 by 0 form using L hospital rule so limit x tends to 0 uh, what is the differentiation of 8 to the power x 8 to the power x log 8 if you are remembering a to the uh, differentiation of a to the power x that is a to the power x log a similarly here we have applied so 2 to the power x log 2 upon differentiation of 4x will be 4 okay now again put x tends to see denominator we got a single constant term so this is uh, this confirms here that you won't get 0 by 0 form okay that means you need to apply the identity uh, sorry uh, apply the limits here so apply the proper limits e to the power 0 will be what 1 so log 8 minus log 2 upon 4 or 1 upon 4 log 8 by 2 log 8 by 2 will be what 4 okay and 4 is the square of 2 the 2 will come out so 2 by 4 log 2 your final answer is 1 upon 2 log 2 okay okay let us come to this somewhat complex question so in this question uh, we are said that limit x tends to 0 e to the power x sin x minus x minus x square upon x cube now put the value x tends to 0 in it you will get 0 by 0 form means we need to use L hospital rule in it okay so let us use uh, on the numerator e to the power x sin x you have to use product rule here so uh, sin x as it is e to the power x differentiation is e to the power x plus uh, e to the power x as it is differentiation of cos uh, sin x is cos x so a differentiation of this is this minus x minus x square upon 3x square now you put uh, x tends to 0 in the denominator you have x term that means uh, this is an indeterminate form we need to again differentiate it so again using the L hospital rule here e to the power sin x differentiation is uh, see from here e to the power sin x you got these two so on again differentiating e to the power sin x you write it as it is e to the power sin x plus e to the power cos x plus see this plus here now differentiation of e to the power cos x is uh, cos x as it is e to the power differentiation is e to, e to the power x minus uh, y minus because cos x is minus of sin x so i already wrote a minus sign here so e to the power uh, sin x 
this will be vanished minus of 2 here upon uh, 3x square will be 6x. Now what I did, see this uh, e to the power sin x to e to the power sin x cancelled. 2 times of e to the power x cos x minus 2 upon 3x. Now uh, this is 2. Okay, Please write 2 here. So 2 times of e to the power, uh, now what I did, uh, wait, uh, see th that. Okay, okay. I what I did that I took two common and cancelled it with the denominator six. That's why it is uh, e to the power x cos six minus one upon three x. Now again, this is a uh, indeterminate form. Why? Because this will give you one one minus one zero upon zero zero by zero form. Again, you need to use the L hospital rule. So here the product rule you will be going to use. So how product rule limit x tends to zero. Uh, or you can copy it from here only because you differentiated no so e to the power x cos x minus e to the power x sin x differentiation of 1 is 0 upon 3 so now apply the limits x tends to 0 e to the power 0 1 cos 0 1 1 minus 0 upon 3 so 1 upon 3 is the final answer like this okay okay let me uh, just clear you the uh, one of the question from the book itself, if you open exercise 6.1, the 14th question, what is the fallacy in the following use of L hospital rule? Fallacy means what, what's wrong with it, what's wrong in the solution. So if you see the question is given to us, that is x cube minus x square minus x upon 2 upon x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 and limit x tends to 2 is given to us. They solved okay they put the values here they got 0 by 0 form they use l hospital rule and in the next step you can see on differentiation they got such step and they again uh, use the l hospital rule here and again they use the l hospital and they got one as answer now the fallacy in this question is in the second step itself if you see if you put the value there too you know you won't get 0 by 0 form so that is the fallacy that means uh, L hospital rule says that if you get 0 by 0 form then only you use me. That means you have to use L hospital rule only when you get 0 by 0 form. So that is what wrong in the solution of this question. Okay, You cannot use the L hospital rule without even knowing that you have 0 by 0 form or not. Okay, Now we are heading to the next that is infin infinite upon infinite form. As you can have 0 by 0 form, you can have infinite upon infinite form also. And also some more forms are given like uh, 0 to the power 0, infinite to the power 0, 1 to the power infinite. See, these are the indeterminate. We haven't seen in the uh, mathematics yet. But now we will be going to see in this limit and we will be going to use the L hospital rule. So L hospital rule everywhere you need to differentiate numerator as well as the denominator. Let us take one example of it. Okay, let us come to this question. Okay, so uh, limit x tends to minus of pi by 2. If you put uh, by, uh, minus of pi by 2 here, okay, so uh, tan of minus pi by 2 will be what? Uh, what is tan pi by 2? This is infinite and co uh, this also that means cos pi by 2 is 0, log 0 is what? Infinite, infinite upon infinite form. Okay, so we need to use L hospital rule. Let us differentiate this. Okay, 10x, the differentiation will be sec square x and log x will be what? 1 upon cos x and cos x is minus of sin x. Okay, differentiation of log cos x is 1 upon log cos x and minus of sin x. So, uh, sec square, what is sec square? 1 upon cos square x. A sin upon cos, just let it be like this only. You can cancel one cos with one cos. So finally, you take minus sign here out. Limit x tends to pi by 2, negative of. You got 1 upon sin x cos x. In the numerator, you have 1. That means we have no like uh, fear of getting infinite in the numerator term. Just put the limit over here. Minus of. Uh, this is what? pi by 2 negative of pi by 2 sine negative of pi by 2 you will get minus 1 and this is all already a 0 so 1 upon 0 is what infinite so your answer is 1 upon 0 that is minus of infinite by this minus is already here okay and on solving here we got the answer as 1 upon 0 and that 1 upon 0 is infinite that is why 
infinite so minus of infinite is the is its answer okay okay i am solving one example of infinite upon infinite form now in the next video we'll solve more questions and in the next video we'll wrap up this chapter okay because uh, i can if i feel that you can do all these questions only you need to uh, differentiate it using the l hospital rule okay uh, i don't find i don't think there, there there is any difficulty in solving the questions do more and more examples and questions so that your concept will be more clear to you okay so that's it for today uh, have a nice day thank you and do more and more practice